Hello everybody, happy Friday and welcome to Platform 32. My name's Ian Hickton, your hostess with the most as ooh. And uh, today I'm going to be playing a little bit of Eldritch. I did a pre-recorded Let's Play of this earlier in the week. Uh, and I nearly did a live stream of it the other day when uh, GTA, uh, well, Xbox Live wouldn't connect me online. And lots of people were saying they really wanted to watch uh, some of it live. So I thought, well, it's Friday. I don't really have a game that I really, really want to do, so let's try some Eldritch. I'm going to play it live for an hour and a half till about 9 o'clock UK time. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm probably going to get a little bit scared. In a, in a bit, I'm going to turn the lights off once I start the game to, uh, you know, get the spooky atmosphere up a little bit more. It is a, it is a spooky game. It's not, like, m like kind of classically scary like Outlast was, uh, you know, just pitch black and things. It's it's very very bright game, but there's a very dark and foreboding atmosphere and uh, some very creepy sounds uh, that freak me out and some horrible baddies. Uh, we'll go into more about the look of the game in a second. Uh, I was just looking just as I started, saw uh, how many comments were in the uh, in the stream already. People, you guys are uh, chatting amongst yourselves. It's really cool that you guys are all. Uh, you know, getting along with each other. Uh, lovely community stuff there. So uh, let's say some quick uh, hellos. Will Carstark's here. Lawrence Murphy's here as well. Uh, so is Gary DeKarma. So is uh, Stroyer. So is Creator. So is Tasman19. So is uh, Daft Studios. Uh, Steinmaster. He's uh, he's looking forward to it. Andreas Holmgrim's here. He says, this will be good, Ian, playing a weird, frightening game with the lights off. They always make for good streams. Yeah, the lights will be going off in a second once I load the game up. Uh, 2009 Excalibur is here as well, Tasman19 as well, lots of people, Gino Gear as well, Miss Fraggle Rocks has made it, Iceman Garage is here, and Lally Lulul 25 and Ed 2003 WRX, loads, loads of regulars, oh and Piercy Listen as well, hello there sir, haven't seen you around for a while, Piercy Listen, and Stroyer as well, so I think we're, uh, I think we're, uh, Good, Gary DeCarma. I've read him. Okay, right, we're good to go. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to bring up the game, and I am going to quickly go and turn the lights off. I need to turn the brightness on my laptop up so that it creates like a glowing light in front of me. <laughs> Here we go. Hello there. So a little bit more of a spooky atmosphere. I'm going to have my headphones on quite loud. And then I'm going to play the game. What's the odds Titch will come in midstream to scare you, says the creator. Pretty high. When I did the pre-record of this uh, video, this this game, I was playing mouse and keyboard, but I swapped up now. and playing with my Xbox controller plugged into the PC because it's got, it's got Xbox controller support. Have you got a spare pair of pants handy then, Ian, says Tasman19. No pants for me. Right, so here we go. This is Eldritch. You start off in a library. As you can see, it's uh, voxel-based, very Minecrafty. Got weird penis arms. Penis arm, penis arm. Smack in the chairs with my penis arm. If you were doing that with a real penis, probably hurt a bit. Oh, that's not... Yeah, it can collide with the chairs. Uh, there's uh, all these kind of random books around the library. This is the Elder Ridge Library Borrower Ledger. Um, so I guess this is the Elder Ridge Library. If you examine the mirror, you can change your look. I've gone for the... I kind of went for Stan's Dad from South Park kind of look. So I'm playing as Stan's Dad from South Park. Now these books here, these books with the sparkles, these are magic books. Think of them like books uh, from the game, uh, from, you know, Mist. You read the books and you get transported to a faraway place. Except for these novels are kind of based on H.P. Lovecraft novels. Uh, this book here, this blue book with all the smoke, this is a, a free bit of DLC. I'll play a bit of that uh, a bit later. Uh, allegedly, once once you've bought the game, allegedly there's going to be quite a few bits of DLC, and they will all be added as they go. And this is uh, this is one of them, uh, and they should all be free bits of DLC. This is the third book. I've not managed to open it yet because I have to complete both books to open that book. Uh, I'm going to try and complete both books today. In my let's play, I did. I got to the end of this book, but um, died. Some creepy 
um, statues that only come and eat you when you're not uh, looking at them came and at me basically I love this community says Gary DeCarmo I'm scared already says Tasman 19 it's forever, forever since I caught one of your streams says Stroy it goes way well before December I think well good to have you back Stroy nice one uh, Piety Listen's been very busy uh, the Weeping Angels that's it they're like lizard versions of Doctor Who's Weeping Angels that's the one right so you, a lot of you might not have played the game before it's a bit of a bit of a kind of obscure indie game but here we go Hopefully you can hear the crazy, like, horrible chanty music. The little fish dudes are there. You can crouch down so you can go proper stealth and dodge things. People have described this as a cross between Dishonored and Spelunky. I'd say Dishonored, Spelunky, Minecraft, and games where you can punch fish men in the balls. Everything you kill, you can loot. There's lots of loot around. These coins here, these artifacts you can buy stuff with. Keys will open locked doors. Knives will give you better melee skills. You can also find guns. Dynamite will let you blow up walls. There's a gun. You can ooh, you can cycle between your weapons. RB in this case, gun and knife. These earlier levels are slightly easier. I'm not sure what that noise was. Sounds like something got killed. Um, so these earlier levels are, are quite easy. So I'm going to try and get a bit of swag on this early level. If I continually die, then I'll end up racing through these levels. Because you can kind of race through these levels pretty quick. Pick up another gun, it gives you some extra ammo. Uh, because all you need to do, each each level, each book is uh, separated into kind of levels, and you have to go down and down to find each one. They're, a bit, they're randomly generated, so every time you play the game the levels will be different, and they're kind of very labyrinthine. They, they, the layout always changes, sometimes you have to double back on yourself, climb up things, you have to climb up to go down and stuff. Here we go, found some cool, another key, some more ammo for the gun. Let's demonstrate the dynamite, how that works. I'll just chuck some down there. <coughs> Boom! You see, let's chuck another one down. Let's just get rid of all the dynamite and see if we can burrow all the way down. Boom! Yeah, there we go. That was a dino fright for whoever is below. <laughs> mm. These graphics are better than next gen since 2009 Excalibur. Yeah, the graphics don't make the game. The uh, the atmosphere makes this game. Oh shit! Oh god! So I fell right down. Didn't mean to fall down. I've fallen down into a locked area, which isn't good. Hopefully I can get out. Oh, there's a key, so I will be able to get out. Rotten meat. Let's not eat the rotten meat. Uh, I fell a bit further down than I wanted to. At least we've got some keys and stuff in here. We'll be playing The Last of Us some weekend in the future. I finally got it a few weeks back, says Stroyer. I might do The Last of Us again. It wasn't too popular last time I played it, though. I was kind of thinking, oops, maybe it's time to to, to rest it. But if I get enough uh, if I get enough interest, I'll definitely do it again. Here we go, some more ammo for my pistol, seeing as I wasted it on the weird little bugs. The enemies on this level aren't too bad either. The creepiest ones are these kind of monks. But you can hear them, the monks. Um, no, no, um. Keep pressing the wrong button. Uh, yeah, the creepiest ones are the monks, and they fire projectiles at you. Nothing there. There's a monk. Let's go and see if I can kill him. I'll sneak up on him and. Oh god, there's a couple. Is that guy gonna see me? Look, 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 look. Oh, he's going to see me. Got him. What? Oh, God, I fell down again. Can't remember if the fish men have projectiles or not. I don't think they do. What? Come here, fish man. I'll knife you in the gills. Cut your gills off. Ha. I'm just 
accidentally throwing all my stuff. I don't know if I killed him. Boom! Headshot! Let's look at the corpses. These things are normally filled with water and you can, uh, if you drink it, you'll, your health bar will increase by one. The highest I've ever had my health bar is six. And this crazy, horrible statue thing just came and insta-killed me. Rubbish. You can throw bottles at things, you can throw stones at things. Looks like there's some loot on top of here as well. We've got a key. Got me a key. Got me that. Got me that. I'll eat the pork, the beef, or whatever it is, the joint, just because I can. Another little crawly thing, I'll ignore him for a sec. So it's worth, on the earlier levels, it's definitely worth exploring. Oi. Really shouldn't be wasting my ammo on these guys. There you go, knifey. Already feeling tense, uh, says Will Carstock. Got yeah. Just wait till I get to the sand level. That's when it gets really harsh. Is this 1080p and 60 frames per second? Because that's all people care about, lol, says Gino Gear. Uh, it does run in 1080p, although I'm only streaming 720. Not sure about 60 frames per second, though. Right. So, yeah, when you kill things, they respawn as well. Like that thing is back up there. Uh, we've also got these totem kind of things, statues that you can pray at. They give you uh, special powers. Uh, press something to cast knock. Is that left trigger? I think it's left trigger to cast knock. Aim at a lock door to unlock it, or aim at another surface to create a noise to distract patrolling enemies. It costs four artifacts to use knock. I never normally use the special powers, just because I'm trying to save all my monies for something that I don't know what, though. Is this a full-on horror game, or does it just have a creepy atmosphere? It's kind of... It's creepy atmosphere, I guess. I'd class it as a survival horror game. Like I said, if I die completely, like Spelunky, you have to start again from the very beginning. And all the levels will be different. Got you a little buggy, buggy bugger. Hum na na hum. It's in the locked door. Yes. More ammo. And a key. I will take that. Thank you very much. So the exit here, I've got a compass, so the exit is showing up as this little, that's where the exit is. <coughs> if you don't have a compass, then the game gets incredibly hard to uh, kind of navigate. More keys. So you can, you can start other books. Like you could, I could just jump into the sand level, but I wouldn't have the... I wouldn't have the the uh, compass, so I'd be completely lost. There'd be a lot more searching to do. If I die during this playthrough, at the end of the, at the end of this kind of world, I get um, a special kind of orb that unlocks the next book or whatever. If I die, then I lose it, and I'd have to redo the thing again. What is this? Oh, these are horrible. Check this out. Go on. See me. See me and do something. First time I saw these, it was nasty. Oh, God. Is that... Is it, is it going to do anything? See, oh! See? They scream like... Like angry souls. Lots of doors in here. Lots of places to look. Let's, let's loot up. I'm pretty well... I'm pretty well stocked up on ammo. Here's one of these fountains. I drink from that fountain. And now I'm... Uh, now you can see, if you look top left, my health is now 4 out of 4. What's in there? Anything in there? Looks like there's some more keys in there. Let's go. Oh, no, it wasn't the keys. No. Pie, quite possibly a waste of time coming in that one, I mind. How many keys have I got? I've got seven keys, that's good. Seven keys, 29 bullets, four out of four health. 
not too shabby at the moment. Just like Spelunky though, it can all go in an instant. I hate you! Enemies can open doors as well. I think that's why some of these doors are already open. They just wander around randomly. They don't have set paths or anything, as far as I know. I hate the kind of like the sighing noises. <laughs> it's creepy. Freaks me out. So there's the exit for this level. I'm, I'm taking these this one quite slowly, like I was saying. As it gets a little bit more dangerous, I kind of start speeding up a bit as I go. Here we go. Right. This is the first first level done of this book. So down we go into the second level. Where oh, where's the compass? Uh, there is no compass. Um, there's no compass visual. You just the compass is that green. See that thing right in the centre? That just shows you where the exit is located. So you just gotta. That tells me I've got to head downwards and this way. I'm never gonna see a merman ever, says Andreas Holmgren. You're quoting the the cabin in the woods, aren't you? By the way, and how have you been lately, says uh, Stroyer. I've been very good, thanks. Hope you guys are all good as well. Let's have a look at the analytics. 36 people watching at the moment. I'm not too scared yet. I'm uh, taking my mind off the tense atmosphere by describing the game and stuff. Oh, there's another uh, another thing to pray out. Let's go and pray at this. <coughs> so I've got teleport power now instead of knock. So if I press left trigger... It throws a thing now. I do not want to teleport to that. That'll teleport me on top of some spikes. Let's not do that. Oh, God. Well, I don't know how you cancel the teleport. I should have read that, shouldn't I? Let's go and find out how you cancel teleport. I nearly, probably nearly killed myself. Uh, press it once to throw a beacon. Press again to teleport it. Press and hold left trigger to retrieve it and then throw it again. Okay, so that cost me four... I nearly killed myself on some spikes, and that cost me four coins. Artifacts. Silly me. Retrieve? Yeah, there you go. No, retrieve. Oh, it just casts it again. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Nice little detours. Got me some money! So the radar or the compass is telling me down there, but I'm still a little bit curious. Curiosity killed the Higton. I think I've been up here already. I think I've already been up these bits. Let's head down a level. Can hear lots of things scuttling around and hissing. Something's killed that wizard. Is it the beetle? Pretty weak wizard if the beetle killed him. I can hear loads of things hissing now. Maybe there's more of those screamy snake things. Horrible snake screamers. I'm in your home. Can you turn the game audio up a bit, Ian, please? I can't hear the creepy music, says Miss Fraggle Rocks. Okay, I can do that. Watch out for the penguins, says Mr. UK Raider. I'll be playing the penguins bit in a bit. Um, right. Ah, I can do that. That might work a bit better. Okay, let me know if that's uh, too loud now. Loud. If Titch walked in and jumped on you now, ha ha ha, says Will Carstoke. No! She's asleep down there at the moment. Okay, hopefully that sounds a little bit better. It's louder in my ears now, so that means I'm going to get even more creeped out once... 
once we start getting to some uh, tense areas. Whoa! Big eyeball of death just outside the door. Haha! <laughs> got your eyeball of death. Oh, I got a key on the eyeball of death, not bad. They shoot fireballs at you. Yeah, it sounds like it sounds like it's good listening to my video. Oh, just used a key. Oh, excellent. Ammo. So my choice, my you can only carry two things. My kind of setup is uh, is gun and knife. The knife is very good for uh, quick melee kills. The gun is good for kind of stealthy shots. There, if you shoot something without it realizing, it only takes one bullet to kill it. If it sees you though, I think it takes two bullets. Money. So I could go down. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep searching. I'm gonna keep searching for some more swag for a bit. Defo hearing the creepy music now, says Pisces listen. Excellent. Oh god. That's close. Nearly fell on the spikes as well. meat. I don't want to eat the rotten meat. There are some shops here where you can buy buy things to help you on your journey. There are also banks where you can store your cash. This is where I started, I think. I've already been here. Alright, looks like I'm going to go down. Oh, wait, what's in here? Oh no, screamer snake! Ugh, I hate you! Nothing good? Nothing good. Stupid penis screamer snake guarding absolutely nothing. Alright, let's continue this way and see if I can go down. But first, let's get the coinage on top of here that I spotted. Yeah, yeah. Coinage, coinage! Yeah, here we go, it's the way down. Evening, just been playing Daisy, getting better at it, but I still find zombies before I get anything, says MD uh, Productions. Yeah. It took me about 50 hours of playing Daisy before I found my first gun. Oh, he's seen me. What? Can you climb ladders? Oh god, I dropped my gun. Sucks to be you, creepy merman. Men aren't too scary because they can't shoot things. It's under this basement area. Nowhere to go though. Let's keep searching. Home, no, no, home. Was that it? That's the worst place to go ever. Oh, what, what the hell is this? A dusty book. Right, I have no idea what this dusty book is. Just, uh, just for your information, I don't know what's going to happen when I press it. Okay, this is weird. No, I don't know where I am now. I've, I've, I'm, I'm unaware of what this is. It seems like it's, uh, might just be like a little bonus area. It looks, yeah, it's a little bonus area. Holy symbol. If I pick up the holy symbol, a small stone tablet bearing a religious marking. It has no apparent. Utility. So, I got the holy symbol, but it's made me lose the compass. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it does. I'm going to Google it quick. I'm going to cheat and Google. What does the holy symbol do in Eldred? Uh, 
Uh, anyone found out exactly what it does? Not that I've found yet. Uh, it's how you get the best ending. You have to collect all the useless artifacts, then make it through the last level, lighting candles the whole way. Then you get a very anticlimactic black and white ending. Alright. I'm not bothered with that. I've just done big spoilers there for you. Sorry. So I'm going to take the compass back. So there you go. There's secret dusty books in here as well. Crazy. Okay, Screamer Snake is going to give me nightmares as far as you listen. It's going to give me nightmares. Hum na na hum. Fruit trees will give you health. Oh, ammo. So as you can see, I'm already slightly lost. The uh, the directions were saying go down there, but it didn't really look. Maybe this way is the right way to go. Lots of open doors already. Oh God, spikes everywhere. Ah! Oh! Screw you, creepy devil eye. Oh god! I've been quick. Uh, they, uh, all the enemies, kind of seem to only fire at you when they're when you're at long when they're kind of a long way away. Penis shape. Oh, screw you, penis shape. Uh, so if you get in close range on them, they won't shoot at you. I tend to find. So if I see them. My tactic is to run up and knife them as quick as I can. Although I believe when you get to later levels there are some big things that will just kill you outright instantly. Which I'm bound to find somewhere at some point. How do I get out of here? Where's the exit? Come on. I've been on this level for far too long. It's right underneath me. I need to go down again. Mm -hmm. Is this where I just came out of? I can't tell. Oh god! Okay. Penis on. There you go, he's firing. Got him there. Yes, there's the exit. Right. Let's take a quick look around. Just see if I can't find some more goodies. Might as well. Well, I'm here. Now I know where the exit is. And it doesn't seem to be too threatening. Oh, an area. If I run around, though, I think the enemies can hear my footsteps. Come get me. Sounds like something's running around after me. Yep, there is. Knife jar! Bullets. Money! Get away from me. Alright, let's just do a runner. I'm, I'm done with this one. Let's go. Whoa! Snuck up on you and stabbed you in the back of the eye, baby. Uh, wasn't that the eye from the Tony Hawk's Games Destroyer? It could be. Miss Fraggle Rock says the sound effects are seriously creepy. They are seriously creepy. Like, it's. You guys being here, um, you know, me having people to chat to, it's not as bad, but, oh god, this is the level, sometimes there is a, an enemy on this level that is huge and you can't kill, and he just murders everything in his path, and I think I can hear him. Oh god. Where is it? Where are we going? Where's the exit? This way. Down here somewhere. So yeah, it's a big blob thing and he just kind of kills everything. Uh, and you can't destroy him so you just have to run away. Hopefully I don't see him. Ow! Fuck! Alright. Now would be a good time to eat that meat that was over here. 
I don't think it was rotten. It was rotten eat meat, damn it. Not too not to worry. Should hopefully be plenty of health lying around. Is that rotten meat? No. Uh, uh, baked meat, yes. Okay, let's keep going. People are fighting with each other over here. I'm absolutely unsure of where to go. Hey, Ollie Big Bird! Maybe we're going to have to go up and over. Or not. <laughs> oh, so what are these guys doing? Okay, that I got some extra health from the fountain, which is nice. That wizard is fighting something that's behind. God. Oh, fuck! Okay, that's the big thing that will kill you and will kill everyone, and he's just going to chase me now for eternity. Uh, run away. I need to find the exit. He's just going to be hot on my heels. No time. No time for searching and looting now. I just want to get out of here. Damn it. The hell? It's actually above me somehow. I can hear water bubbling. I want to get some more health. Where's that fountain? It's close. It's probably above or below me. Is it Unstoppable murder blob. Yes, it is an unstoppable murder blob. Uh, Piercy, listen. I don't like it. Okay, there's the exit. Excellent. Looks like the unstoppable murder blob has killed all the enemies around the exit as well, which is great. So here's the exit. Here's the orb I need to collect. Soul of Dagon. And do I risk... No, let's just carry on. Let's just get out of here. This is the first, so that's the first book done. Return to the library. Excellent. So I've got the Soul of Dagon, so now I can go over here. I can place the Soul of Dagon on the pedestal. I need all three of them to uh, get through this door, I believe. There you go. That's the Soul of Dagon. Now if I die, that's gone now. Then I have to do that whole book again. There it is, says Andreas Holmgren. Those sounds these guys make uh, when you hit them reminds me of an enemy from medieval, says uh, Pisces Listen. <laughs> oh, I've missed Ian's panicking runaway tactics, says Stroyer. Yeah, run away, live to fight another day, that kind of thing. Let's all snuggle up on the sofa with, small pop with some popcorn in case we get scared, says 2003 WRX. Not so tough now, Ian. Uh, this is 2019. Uh, and you haven't got a, a, a magnum in your hand. Well, that's kind of a magnum. Kind of a magnum. <coughs> you walked right... Oh, I walked right past the fountain, did I? Oh, damn it. I was too scared. I had the I had the murderous blob on my mind. Okay, here we go. This is a sand level. I freaking hate this level. It's got... It's got the moany, sigh, monkey dude, dude, but it's also got the incredibly freaky, hissing sand beasts that don't die. And it's also got enemies that are like the weeping angels from Doctor Who, uh, the statues that only attack you if you're not looking at them. I would like to play this game and not meet any of them. That'd be lovely. What's in there? Oh, I didn't bank my coins, damn it. If I die, I'm going to lose so much money. Oh. Coins and keys down there. You know that horrible f whatever it is? <laughs> Creepy. 
fish it. Don't like it. Okay, I like this game, but I like it because it freaks me out. It's why I like horror games more than any other games, because horror games kind of have the ability to draw me in more than any other types of games. Well, there was one. He seems to be trapped, which is good. Oh, he's trapped on the spikes. Okay. <laughs> so he will come back alive again if you watch. And they just keep following you around. That's locked door with a spike trap in front of it, so I'm not going to bother with that. I'm glad that the first sand beast we've met was dead or trapped. That's good. You can get past these spikes by running and jumping. Uh, or by blowing them up. I'm just going to avoid them. I've got enough money. Uh, these tiles here, they will break. Generally, they will... Whoa! Lizard man. Ow, he got me. Uh, they will generally have spikes underneath. Yes, they did. Oh, um, really want to find a bank. Bank my cash. Then I want to phone a friend. Bank. I was getting my quiz shows mixed up then. I mixed up who wants to be a millionaire with the weakest link. Rocky mistake. Okay. There's something nasty out here. There he is. Hey you! Hey you! Did you see the compass has stay, uh, stayed with me? And he's back up again. Go away, you're horrible. <laughs> the exit's just over there, but... Let's do some. Again, the first level of each... <laughs> the first level of each thing isn't too bad. Just stop it! I kind of want to go down there for the loot. This wasn't a bad idea. Getting up there now is going to be hard. He's got, he's got old cheerful up there as well, waiting for me. Come get me, cheery, cheeky chops. Let's do this. Whoa! Into the next one. Oh yeah, I did walk past an empty fountain at 2003 WRX. The ones that, uh, they have to have bubbly water in them for them to work. Can you damage spikes with dynamite? Yes, you can. Bank your cash, says Mr. UK Raider. Damn it! I didn't bank my cash. It looks like the 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, says Andrea Songram. Hey, Imogen Galvin. Uh, uh, she says, I haven't been in one of your streams for ages. No, you haven't. Thanks for coming along. It's Friday. I've got 51 minutes left on this game. I'm doing alright at the moment, not doing too bad. Taking my time with it. Taking my sweet ass time. How? Okay, that's two health blobs gone. I can't eat that rotten fruit. Activated some spike traps. I don't know what's going to be up here now. Hopefully that was worth it. God, there's lots of creepiness going on right now. Switch my gun. Hold on, missing. Oh god! Oh god, there's loads! Oh my! I want that. Keep dropping my stuff. Spoke too soon. Those are rope traps. 
when I said I was doing alright. I've only got one health bit left now. God damn it. Keep away from me, you freaky little shits. Ah! I don't want to die yet. Okay, there's someone to bank my cash. Let's bank it all. Come on, there's got to be some food around here somewhere. Where's the food? A little bit of food. It's insta death if I die now. Come on. Sounds like he's asthmatic. sneak on right now. I'm not impressed by how much life I've lost. took out the the rope traps the monkey dude on, there's got to be some food somewhere where's this lead? is this just back to where I was before I think it is There was so much meat before. Oh god. It's one of the weeping angel things as well. Right, let's carry on going down. If I fall too far as well I will uh, I will hurt I will die. That looks like there might be some fruit down there though. Sometimes those fruit bushes are empty. That one is not though. Yes, we got no only one of these bushes had fruit on, but I'm back. I've got two health now. Two out of five health. A little bit better. Key there. Okay, we're good. Some more health over there. Let's keep stealthy. Fruit it up. That was horrible. There's just like a million enemies there all at once. I just walk around the corner it's like, we're all hanging out boy, now you're gonna die. <laughs> I was scared. I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Greedy me. Three bullets. It's good. Bullets are good. Hissing things are bad. I saw some dynamite somewhere. If I can find the dynamite, oh god. I keep dropping my weapons. 
God. Fuck. It's down. I can find the dynamite. I can blow a hole through the wall, but I can't remember where I saw it. There. Sorry, Dagger. I'm going to come back for you, Dagger. Sorry, I'm not reading too many comments. Uh, if I don't read many comments, it normally means it's because I'm well into a game, and I'm quite into this one. Come on. What the fuck? I thought it was right there. I can hear another fountain. Okay, right. Let's kill that. There is, just to the corner here, just to the right, there is uh, one of those um, Weeping Angel style statues. If it crumbles, if it makes a crumbling noise, then it will attack me if I look away from it. There's the exit there. It's gonna go down, it's dropping down. Okay, then. I think I'm safe. We're good, we're good, we're good! Woo! Okay, here we go. You guys talking about movies, eh? The Outsiders, it's basically good to destroy her. Thirty-six people watching. Hello there. Thank you very much for joining me. Uh, very privileged to have you guys along on a Friday night. We'll be live streaming this till uh, nine o'clock, unless I'm still going with this life, <laughs> and then I'll just live stream till I die. I think each book. I think this book has five, uh, four levels. The first book has three levels. This one has four, I believe, so I've still got to go down three more levels. Where's the exit? Shit. Let's just chuck that in there. Let's see what happens. Anything happened? Oh god! <laughs> I hate you! Leave me alone. Now I'm less interested in getting loot, more interested in just escaping. Shit. I keep pressing Y, which drops my weapon. To select weapons, RB, but I keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, f Fudge. Okay, there is a hell of a load of those statue things. That's how I died in my um, live stream, in, in my pre-recorded Let's Play. I ran through uh, those and they all just hammered me. So that is not the way to go, Ian. That is not the way to go. Can I go over them? Might be able to go over them. Yeah. Munchies. Rotten meat. Going over the top of it. Press on button again. Gun. Go. Oh god. <laughs> I hate you. Stop it. Get down somehow. I want to have. <laughs> Stop it! I don't want to have to go through. That tunnel can't be the only way. Fuck. 
so many hissy things. Sorry, knife. This might be the only way I can do it. Burrow in through the top. I don't know, though. Maybe I can sneak around the back end. Oh, no. What? It's this bit again. I'm going to have to go through. The, I'm going to have to burrow through the top, I think, using this dynamite. Am I back to this bit again? Oh. Looks like that's the exit there. <laughs> it might hurt dropping down. Oh, it's the, the, the end. It's the end of the level. It's the end of the book. Uh, you take the strang strange red orb. It hums and trembles as Nariotep wakes. A wave of terror rushes over you. You can unlock the next book in the library. I've never got this far. Wowzers. Okay, I'm into the next bit. Can dynamite kill the statues or are they invincible? Not sure, Sam Moore. Not sure. Uh, tie it up and force feed it bleach in, says John above. Oh, that's pretty scary. Uh, he says, or am I thinking of a different game? I think you're thinking of a different game. Just make a run for it, says Andrew's Holmgren. No, I tried to make a run for it before that, and as soon as you uh, go past one of them, it just hits you from behind. And uh, it's one hit kills. But we're good. This is the furthest I've ever got. Let's drop this down. There we go. <clears throat> so now I have not. I've. I have. Uh, I've never played this next level before. Are there any knives around? Got full health now. Love there to be a knife around. Who keeps knives in libraries? Sensible people, that's who. Not in this bloody library, though. So I think he's going to keep... I think the guy who's made it is going to keep uh, adding different books in, like I was saying in the beginning. So there's potentially loads of different levels... Here we go. Strange book. You present the soul of Nariotep and the book seal is broken. A profound fear lingers in your mind. The next world awaits. Oh, I'm scared now. Ooh. Okay. Weird wooden world. Things are fighting each other. Look at that. Wall's got an eye on it. Is that going to hurt me? It's like an eye or is it a barnacle? I don't know. I'm not sure. I've got to treat everything as potentially hostile now. I might try and shoot one of those eyes. What the hell is that thing? It's dead, but what is it? Okay, there's lots of creepy shit going on. There's a monk just around the corner. There's something wibbly wobbly. Let's see if I can shoot that eye. What does it do? Because it could be like a trap. And something happened to it. I'm gonna. Whoa! It's a whoa, whoa! Whoa! God damn it! Okay, they sleep. They pretend they're dead or something. Barnacle eye thing was on that. It's not there anymore. This is a shop. Finally come to a shop. After I've banked all my money in the shop, you can buy these charms. They will uh, take the place of the, uh, the the compass. You 
buy speed boots and stuff though, but I've left, I've banked all my money like an idiot. Or like a sensible person, I don't know, so I've got zero money. There's another barnacle. What's it do? Should I go up? I don't think it's going to do anything. I think it's, I think it's kind of safe. Let's just keep going down. Let's keep stealthy. Any Xbox 360 games coming out worth buying? Uh, Dark Souls 2 is coming out soon. Um, Titanfall is going to be out on the Xbox 360. Lots of stuff. Andreas Holmgren says, uh, creepiest world yet. Beware the frightening evil within, says Mr. UK Raider. The walls are watching you, uh, it's a spicy listen. Everything in this game, it just sounds like it's really unhealthy. <laughs> How much ammo? I've only got 15 ammo. Oh god, I'm glad I checked down there first. I think that thing might have seen me. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee! I'm out of here, suckers. After me. Crap, 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 crap. Gravity crap. Whoa, spikes. Whoa, things. Oh my god, there's loads of stuff. Oh my god. Uh, I need to find someone to hide. Find someone to hide. Uh, uh, uh. I want my knife back. That was one hell of a sacrifice I made getting rid of that knife. Materialized power. You can conjure blocks now. Thanks. Shoot the store clerk and rob him. Rob him says Dodie Size. They're like the uh, the clerks in uh, in uh, in Spelunky. If you steal anything or injure them, they become ultra tough murder machines. So uh, it's best to just avoid them. I've got to go back up again. What is that thing? My ammo is low. Fuck! Can I climb up? Bullets on these dudes. I am, I am absolutely screwed. Bullets wise. No, stop throwing your guns on the floor. Where's that? This way. Oh no! Oh no! Merman, what's he doing? He's bashing his brains out. Oh god. Okay. Exit is that way. Oh, I don't want to go near that thing. There's too many things that make weird bubbly noises in this game. Love that, thank you. There's the exit. Do I dare look around the corner? Yeah, might as well. Shoot! <laughs> bad idea, Ian, bad idea. Oh, oh dear. 
What even is this game, says John Above 87? Uh, John Above 87, there are some words above this video uh, that say exactly what the game is. It's called Eldritch. And it is up and scary. It's HP, HP Lovecraft. Ooh, meets Minecraft, meets Dishonored, meets Spelunky. Like Minecraft meets Call of Cthulhu. Yes! John and Bob, yes. Shit. Right. Four bullets. There is a water fountain down there that I'd kind of like to get to. There are many bad guys. That floating thing. I'm going to try and kill the flaky thing without it noticing me. Damn it. Okay. I'm out of bullets. Oh, God. Five health out of seven potential healths. Four bullets left, more than enough to kill anything that moves, says John and Bob. <laughs> no bullets left now. <laughs> Hello, beef burgers. Beef burgers, please don't kill me, beef burgers. Those are creepy shit. These things. Oh, fuck. Oh my god! One health. One health. More health. Oh god. Oh god. One health. Oh god. Oh god. Oh fuck! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Got me. I died. Oh man, that guy's makes you panic, right? Like when you've got no ammo and everything's just coming at you. I'm the worst for panicking in games as well. I panicked big time. Oh dear me. Steve Scoes is uh, tweeting me. Maybe his uh, comments aren't working today. He says, this is, looks like a creepy, awesome game. It is, it is. The voices in this game sound like someone's sleeping, says Stroyer. Right, okay, lots of people talking about yesterday's daisy thing. I didn't kill anyone. Oh, I didn't. I've somehow... That's auto-tweeting. It's trying to auto-tweet. I was shot by a star spawn in the lost city of Rial. I do not want to auto-tweet, you naughty game. There is a Twitter thing there, isn't there? Look. Resurrect. There we go, okay. <clears throat> so, I died. I've got 25 minutes left. We've seen three worlds. I've opened up the final world. See, if we go back here now, you see, all the orbs have gone. So, to open up this door, I'd have to do Willy Bash. I'd have to do all those worlds again. Not going to. I'm going to try the DLC world. This is based on a HP Lovecraft book called Mountains of Madness about some explorers who find uh, an ancient alien civilization buried in the ice. Here's my uh, plane. This is where you start. You always start here. It's the same, same place you always start. Nothing to find. Nothing to see here. 
Except for this weird starfish thing, soapstone. God knows what soapstone does. It's just a general like arena. There's there's absolutely nothing in here. What you need to do is go straight to here. And this will start you in it. So this again, different layout, it's an icy place now. Different monsters this time. Uh, also you get icicles that fall from the roofs. You have to run past them. They, well, they fall down and they stab you in the head. There's loads of them around. So it means you can't really... It's hard to sneak around because unless you run past them, they will fall on your head. Got some new weapons though. Hatchet. You get a pickaxe that lets you pickaxe through things as well. I have no idea what the fire does. Rest. Rest of the campfire. And take the stone as well. There's like a rope gun as well that you can get. Worth pointing out, I do not have a compass for this level. These bad guys uh, fire stuff that I think kills you instantly. I try and axe him in the face. Oh yeah, give me a key. Gonna get you. Ho ho! Stealth kill! Obviously there's some big baddies or penguins in this game as well. None of them to kill yet though. Another campfire. Just gives you a bit of health. Campfires. Doesn't increase your health. I'll take the dynamite, thank you. Getting spooky music. Let's go down a level. Let's see what's down here. Did you find out how you died in Day Z? Uh, no, I didn't. <coughs> Uh, just extreme bad luck, I believe. Uh, that little thing bit me. Will there be any more live streams this weekend, Destroyer? Uh, yes, I should be doing one. Shit, shit, shit balls! Ah, oh, fuck. Fudge. I got killed by icicles. Uh, yeah, I should be doing uh, live streams Saturday and Sunday. Then I'm back to work on Monday. Back to work on Monday. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna do lots of work on Monday, like editing stuff for me and for you. Luckily, they have no. You have no fingers, or they might freeze off. Got some kind of weird thumb. Can I exit back up? Looks like I can. I wonder. I'm just gonna try something. Can I go right back to the library? Or maybe I... Maybe I can't. Oh. In case the aeroplane are missing, you can't take off without them. She. I was going to try going back to the library, going into the first level, taking the compass, then exiting back out to the library. I'm not sure if you can do it or not, but... There's this creepy penguin dude. Whoa! There's icicles that are going to kill me the most. Wow, penguins take a lot to kill. Penguin Dragon Punch. Yeah. Don't scare me, Penguin Poo. Ice cools. Fire of artifacts. The weird thing about first person games is that the characters always walk with their weapons up all the time. Uh, that's a destroyer. And they've got strong arms. John Bob likes the idea of the game, but he doesn't like the visuals. I quite like the visuals. I quite like the, I like the retro Minecrafty vibe thingy going on.
if it had really realistic graphics, I think I don't think I'd be able to hack playing it. It would melt my brain too much. So yeah, without the compass, I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? I don't know where I'm going. Where am I going? Not that way. This way? No, not this way. Dead penguins. High schools. <laughs> Looks like something's been murdering penguins. Let's just keep going down. Rock'em Sock'em Penguins has had 2003 WRX. Don't... <laughs> didn't think I'd ever see Ian punching penguins to death. Hey, These penguins are just lucky they're virtual penguins. I'm banned from London Zoo. Shit! Oh, I killed him by throwing my gun at him. Ran out of ammo, so threw the gun and uh, killed him. The weird winged freak. Huh? So the shopkeeper is the big blob thing, but he's got a nice hat on. I'm not sure what camping kit. What the hell is a camping kit? Let's you stoke a campfire to receive more health. I think I've got enough money to buy anything though. So I think I just have to keep on going and keep on keeping on. <coughs> Ow! Damn you icicles. Maybe I'm going to have to buy some health now. Oh, pickaxe. How much is a pickaxe? 30. Damn it. Oh, I can't even buy the meat. So the grappling gun lets you uh, shoot ropes upwards so you can climb up them and stuff. It's pretty cool. Should have brought some money with me. Should have brought some money with me. Should have learned. Never learn. I'll never learn. Got one bullet. Whoa! Have a rock in your face. Have a gun in your face. Punch her! Punch her! Oh shit! Got me. Penguins look evil, says Lally25. They are. Um, I uh, I didn't like Machine for Pigs. People were talking about uh, Amnesia Machine for Pigs. I didn't think it was scary. Uh, and I thought it was... Uh, yeah. It was boring, and it wasn't scary. And it was a bit rubbish. Definitely wasn't as good as the original Amnesia. I'm going to take a little bit of money. i got loads of money. I'll take a little bit of money with me. Let's take, let's take 50. That's plenty. Hopefully I'll get to a shop and I can buy something cool. 50 bucks. 50 bucks in my hand! Not sure what that is. God, lucky I looked up then. Ooh, pickaxe. Get to demo the pickaxe. Falls apart after a couple of uses. Oh, there's a shop there. Lovely. There you go. There you go. See, just like Minecraft. Le block, le gone. Oh, it's not a shop, it's a bank. I've got no keys. Bugger. Oh, I could, uh... Oh, yeah. I'm a bank robbing man. Robbing some banks. They were like, oh my god, how did they... All our savings, they were all locked away nice and safely in the bank. Didn't bet on me with my axe. 
of thievery, though. <laughs> Sucks to be you. I've got your money. I've got your money. Oh, all that money now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bank my original fifty. Lovely stuff. I was hoping for a shop. And yikes! I'm not sure if the shops sell compasses or not. I have no idea where the exit's going to be. No idea at all. Yeah. Wasting my axe on that. Ow! Punch the penguins! Punch the penguins! Punch the penguins! Was that shopkeeper a shoggoth? Says uh, Snotling Fodler, who uh, must have uh, read some H.P. Lovecraft before. Yes, I think it was. <laughs> wow! That penguin was taking no shit. Unstoppable murder blob. Uh, do 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 do. Repented of his evil ways and opened a small business as far as you listen. It's true, it's true. Lost all my money. Lost all my money. Right, let me quickly see if I can yoink that and then return. Yeah, Ian, you are so clever. Now there is a compass. You can do this easy. What is crouch, baby? Don't crouch me. Don't crouch me. No more. Who knows what that stone does, uh, that star does. Right, it's right down there. Let's see if I can leg it really fast. You guys keep fighting. Shoink! Oh my god. Willy demons. Gotta go! I'm turbo speeding it. Oh my god, I'm in the swimming pool! Fuck up! Leave me alone! Okay. One of his bullets took two of my health off me. What is this? Flare power. Press left trigger to throw a mystical flare. Light my way and distract enemies. Sounds like a sounds like a deal. Sounds good. Shit! Fuck! <laughs> Icicles. Kenneth Wright says hello everyone. Sorry I'm late. P -p -p -pick up. P -p -p Pickaxe of penguins is great. Oh. Uh, great noise from the penguins is a 2003 direct. I want to get down at least one level in this freaking ice world. It's hard. Oh no, wrong book. Dying. Well, wah, 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 wah. <coughs> Running. Screw you, creepy penguin! Uh, 
Blah, 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 blah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ooh. Yes, please. Yes, please. She's having no bicycles. Fuck. Sod the penguins. There's a grappling gun. I'm not gonna. I should really get it for the uh, purpose of demonstrations, shouldn't I? Grapple gun, you can go boof, and then you can go hey. Way, 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 way. Not sure how many, how, how much ammo it has, but that's what you do. I'm going to keep the pickaxes because they're basically shortcuts. For you, level. The power of the pickaxe will get me through. <laughs> Wait. Oh well. Oh god, so many icicles. Sounds like everything is kicking the crap out of each other. comments at the moment. I'm super sneaky. I'm si I feel so clever. I cheated the level. Wow. Now where am I? This level looks a hell of a lot different. Exit is down here. Wow. Some weird ass world right there. Oh god. Oh god. You can't see me, you can't see me. <laughs> Whoa shit, no. Let's not, let's just not. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I thought it fell to my death. Where's the exit? My pickaxe died. Cha-cha-cha. Ian. Cha-cha-cha. What the hell is that? Ooh. Let's go. Let's keep going. Come on. What time is it? Oh, I've only got five minutes to go. Pickaxe is OP. This seems a bit like cheating, says Ollie Big Bird. Yeah, it does a little bit. I like it, though. A weird double face thingy. What is that? Whoa! 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 Shit! Damn it! I was trying to get the water fountain. It was a bad mistake. But there you go. I kind of died just at the uh, at the right time. 
uh, to end the uh, to end the live stream. Ian, you're gonna are you gonna play Octodad? That would make a funny video. Yes, I'm gonna be doing a live stream of that on Eurogame on Monday night. This Monday will be my first live stream back, and I will be playing the shit out of it. It'll be very good fun. Righty-ho, guys. Uh, yes. Uh, what's this? Uh, I don't think my comments are coming through in the chat, says Steve Scoes, but he was still enjoying watching the stream on Twitter. Well, nice one, Steve Scoes. If you want to follow me on Twitter, and you should do, because uh, my tweets are always awesome and uh, amazing and all that stuff, then you can follow me on Twitter uh, using... Please. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Anyway, I had a good time. Got a little bit scared. Uh, hopefully you did too. Hopefully you jumped as much as I did. Um, so Party Listen says plays great escape music. MD Production 07 says it's the best way to get the task done. We had about 40 people watching in total, so thank you very much for watching. If you're new, subscribe, please. If you're not new, uh, keep subscribing. No, wait, if you are new, please keep subscribing or something. Please stay subscribed. I don't know. My brain's broken. Uh, thanks to Piercy Listen. Thanks to MT Production 07. Thanks to Lolly Lol 25 Thanks to Ollie Big Bird. Andreas Holmgren. Uh, Creator. 2009 Excalibur. The panic in your face, Ian. Ha ha ha, he says. Uh, thanks to Mr. UK Raider. He says, so close, Ian. Oh well, cue Legend of Zelda death music and let out a no, no. Thanks to Dodosaurus. Kenneth Wright Stroyer. Uh, Steve Scoes. John Above 87. Ms. Fraggle Rocks, Sam Moore, just break one and crouch. Ah, oh, damn it! Well, should have done that. Thanks to Snotling Fodder, John and Bob eighty seven, Pisy Listen, uh, MD Production zero seven, Dubs seventy two, Tasman nineteen, Glenn Gordon, and everybody else who's been watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, the game. Hope uh, maybe you're going to go off and play it yourself. No, who knows? Uh, I'm off for the night, but I'll be back tomorrow. Keep an eye out on Twitter for my live streams. And no one noticed I had no one noticed I had a haircut. I've got headphone hair now, but ooh, don't I look sexy? <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.